All right, let's pick up again with uh, Attorney Godrich Gadi uh, about his uh, support in court today of suspended ANC MP Mervyn Dirks. They're going to the Western Cape High Court at 10 o'clock, so we need to be fast here. Uh, Mr. G uh, Gadi, can you hear me? I can hear you very well. Uh, thank great. You. Good morning. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I mean, I remember you from being an EFF MP, which you say you uh, w were no longer doing since 2019. Is there any reason you think that Mr. Dirks has chosen you to be his attorney? I wouldn't know what could be any other reason other than that I'm uh, an ordinary attorney like all other legal service providers in South Africa, so I believe. Are you still with the EFF? Oh, definitely. I'm the head of the international relations uh, in the EFF, national, uh, the central command. Uh, what I wanted to ask you was, Mr. Gadi, in terms of party rules, does the Western Cape High Court have the power to intervene and override a party decision? Um, we are not aware of any party decision in this regard. All we are aware of is that the chief whip assumed the powers that she does not have in terms of the party constitution. So what is going to be the merits of, what are going to be the merits of your case in the Western Cape High Court today? We will argue that the ANC chief whip does not have the powers that she exercised of disciplinary measures against our client. And such um, uh, powers do not even exist in the rules of uh, the National Assembly. And uh, accordingly, she acted outside her scope and against the constitution and code of conduct of the organization to which both our client and the ANC chief will belong. What does uh, Pemi Majadina, the ANC chief, whip, what does she have to say about this in terms of uh, Dirks's uh, disciplinary and his, uh, you know, his, his ill discipline, if you like, um, when he was asked to recall his question towards Scopa? Well, all she needed to do was to report her to the Secretary General of the ANC in the Tuli House or to the Secretary of the Province in KZN, who are empowered by the ANC Constitution to initiate disciplinary proceedings against the member of the ANC. Godrich, is there not a bit of a conflict of interest here if you're still such, um, if you're still such a, a powerful person within the EFF and Mervyn Dirks is seen to be part of the ANC's RET faction? There talks about, uh, for instance, Julius Malema being uh, the new possible deputy president on one of the ANC slates. There's a lot of political gerrymandering going on here. I wouldn't agree with you with that regard because uh, I'm just like uh, I'm an ordinary legal practitioner like all others. And uh, as and when a seeker of justice approaches our office, we shall uh, 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 provide the necessary legal services to achieve justice for a client. Uh, that I'm still uh, 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 a member of the central command team of the EFF and my client is a member of the African National Congress is uh, neither here nor there because I've got nothing to do nor the EFF has got anything to do with the infighting and the factions within the ANC and this is nothing but it's about the law and justice and we are in court so let's allow the court to make a determination in the matter because there's nothing political and antagonistic between uh, uh, EFF and our client All in right. the matter of, uh, that I'm dealing with. Very quickly, Godrich, uh, is this matter urgent and what immediate relief are you seeking? Well, the matter is extremely urgent and not only urgent. We are seeking a relief which uh, restart, restores the status quo uh, of, the, uh, uh, of our client before the purported precautionary uh, suspension by the ANC chief whip who acted ultra powers that she does not have.
All right. Thank you so much. That's Godric Ghadi there, the attorney for suspended ANC MP Mervyn Dirks.